So hey guys, we're back with another history bit. Uh, this one is out of the June 2022 uh, True West magazine. It's under the uh, True West exclusive classic gunfights. Battle of the Plaza, Bat Masterson versus Peacock and Updegraph. This article was written by Bob Bozbell. April 16th, 1881. Traveling mostly by rail, Bat Masterson has just covered 1,100 miles to come to the aid of his estranged brother, Jim. Bat was just in Tombstone, Arizona Territory with Wyatt Earp when he received word of threats against his brother's life. As the Dodge City-bound train pulls into the Kansas Depot from the west, Bat swings down off the train on the north side of the tracks. It is about noon. His intuition tells him that his brother's enemies may attempt to round him up at the depot. He scans the platform and the busy streets looking for trouble. As the caboose passes, he notices two men on the opposite side of the tracks walking towards the depot. Bat immediately recognizes both men and shouts, Hold up there a minute, you two. I want to talk to you. Lady Gay Saloon owner A.J. Peacock and his brother-in-law bartender Al Updegraff take one look at the familiar stocky figures striding towards them and turn on their heels, ducking behind the corner of the jail. Jim is partners with Peacock at the saloon, and the two had a disagreed over firing Updegraff, a dishonest drunk in Jim's eyes. All parties pull weapons and begin to bang away at each other. It's unclear which side fires first. Bat retreats to the railroad track's three-foot berm and hides behind it. Bullets snap over Bat's head and thud into Dr. McGrowry's, excuse me, Dr. McCarty's drugstore on the north side of Front Street. Bat returns fire, knocking huge splinters of wood from the corner of Huskow. Soon, Bat is fired upon from several South Side Saloon as deadly partisans join the fray. The compliment is returned from the north side of the tracks as friendly fire, probably from Jim and his friends, rip into the South Side buildings. Bullets careen into the Long Branch Saloon, sending patrons scrambling out the back door. Owner Chalk Beeson seeks refuge behind the door of a safe. George Hoover's saloon loses a window and a bullet tears a newspaper from an idler's hands. Amidst the wild firing, Updegraff suddenly pitches forward as a bullet rips through his chest. Not, not long after, Bat and Peacock run out of bullets. Mayor A.B. Webster runs up and sticks a Fox shotgun barrel in Bat's face. Learning from the mayor that his brother is alive, Bat surrenders and hands over his empty six guns. That's just a quick reading. Um, I apologize if there's any mistakes. I do them live and I do them unedited. If you have any questions regarding these uh, history bits, you can contact me at my email at hvacreeferguy at gmail.com. That is my blue collar email and that's hvacreeferguy at gmail.com. Of course, thanks Bob Bose Bell and the folks at True Us Magazine. If you're interested in subscribing, please do so at TrueUsMagazine.com. Until next time, we'll see you soon and safe travels.